So welcome back to the channel guys. I know it's been a long time since I posted a video. We'll be back with regular boat episodes in late spring once the weather has improved. This time we're taking a look at the work of Timber Framework in Athens, Greece. Timber Framework provides high quality craftsmanship specializing in furniture, desks, tables, dining rooms, libraries, chairs, cutting surfaces, to name just a few. So they've been following the boat project since the early days. While I had a layover in Athens, they reached out to me. This was three years ago, but unfortunately I didn't have the time to visit them. Planing the frames for the armrest of a Japanese style couch. Will is using a biscuit jointer so dominoes can be added to the backrest frames. This will be constructed with only glue and dominoes. You can see just how tight the fit is when using the dominoes. Marking for dominoes. So last November I took the time to visit them while I was visiting friends in Athens. I was able to shadow them and see how talented craftsmen work to create bespoke furniture. They do everything in-house, even welding. If the project needs any metalwork, they can do it all within the workshop itself, making turnaround time much, much faster. So for this episode, I wanted to create a video in the same style as how I document my boat project, showing the workflow and also the details and length they go to in order to produce such high quality products. I'm blown away by their attention to detail and professionalism something that I now must improve on with my own work. I'll definitely be implementing any tips and techniques I picked up along the way and use them in my own work from here on out. Unlike with my boat project, the team at Timber Framework are working towards deadlines and getting everything complete, ready to ship out and deliver to clients. They work with ease and don't stress when nearing deadlines, or if they are stressing, they don't seem to show it. Julius is using a scribe to mark these planks in order to resaw evenly. And of course, sawing it on this lovely old looking bandsaw, I definitely need to get myself one of these. So when I first arrived, they were adding the finishing touches to this lovely white oak table with these bespoke metal bow tie inlays. The backrest of the couch is coming together nicely, hammering the top frame into place. You can really see and get an idea of how productive this workshop is. While well, there's a few projects going on at the same time, things are really starting to come together, you know, bit by bit. Everybody is doing their part, working on different aspects of the project.
plywood with a white oak veneer is being used to make shelving. This is all for a desk setup or a home office setup. They're also using MDF here, which was professionally sprayed in order to get this high quality finish. And if you didn't know that it was MDF originally, uh, you couldn't even tell. It's, it's that well, well finished. And of course, the client knows this as well, that it's MDF and plywood that's being used in this project. By choosing to use cheaper materials, you can keep the cost down for projects like this, yet still achieve a professional and high quality finished product. The desk and tabletop will all come together to create this beautiful modern looking home office setup. Julius is adding a coat of clear waterproof lacquer to the tabletop, which will be the desk. You can see that dominoes were also used in the construction of the MDF drawers. So this really ensures that your joints are strong even when working with materials like MDF. The guys used epoxy just to adhere the front drawer faces before securing them in place by screwing from the far side. The oak slabs are being used to create a staircase. using the track saw to cut the depth before using the pillar drill to remove this excess wood that will now allow for the box section to then fit into the recess.
For CDs, angle grinding the brass base plate screw heads to allow another oak block to fit flush in order to raise up the couch. So with these photos you can see some of the completed work. Check out Timber Framework on Instagram and Facebook to see more of their work and also to keep up to date with any future projects that they're working on. So thanks again to the whole team at Timber Framework for inviting me in and being so hospitable. It was a lot of fun filming and talking all things carpentry. And thanks to you guys, my subscribers for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below, leave a like and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. More boat episodes in the near future. Stay tuned. As always, guys, stay productive and have fun creating.